We're going to see more change in the world of healthcare and medical care in the next five years than we have seen in the last 100. The centuries-old relationship between doctor and patient is changing as a result of the hyperconnectivity that we find ourselves in the world today. And as technology comes to change the speed of innovation in the world of healthcare. I'm Jim Carroll and I'm a futurist trends and innovation expert. And I spend my time with organizations around the world helping them understand the key trends which are going to challenge their future and how to turn those trends into opportunity. I will be with you on May the 16th in Orlando at the Perkin Elmer Leadership Meeting where I will put into perspective the key trends and challenges that come from a world in which the future belongs to those who are fast. There is an absolute acceleration of the science of healthcare. It is estimated that the volume of medical knowledge is now doubling every eight years. The volume of knowledge that a medical professional needs to know to do his or her job is changing at a furious pace. And that's the context of the innovation that you need to work within as you go forward into a faster future. We are witnessing the acceleration of medical technologies, new forms of diagnosis, new forms of treatment. We are witnessing the impact of the Internet of Things as technology becomes embedded in all kinds of medical devices. Wherever you look, there are furious rates of change which surround us today. And how do you innovate in the context of a world in which change is happening faster than ever before? That's part of what I will be covering when I'm with you in Orlando on May the 16th. The impact of the Internet of Things is absolutely staggering. Every device which is a part of our daily life is becoming plugged in, and it is certainly happening quickly with medical device technology. It changes the very nature of the devices that we are putting out into the marketplace. It provides for opportunities to do things we haven't done before, but it presents unique challenges in terms of the very architecture and role of those products. Are we thinking these through in terms of what we need to be doing to align ourselves to a world in which the world of medical technology is truly changing at the speed and pace of computer technology. It is the era of acceleration, and physicians are changing as quickly as our world is changing. Think about the next generation physician coming into the world of healthcare. He or she is arriving with their iPhone or their iPad. They expect to be able to plug in and to be able to instantly access all of the information that they need, including diagnostic information, results on medical tests, and to be able to work in a seamless, wired environment in which everything happens faster than ever before. How do you innovate in the context of very significant behavioral change with the very individuals who are driving forward the pace of change in the industry? You know, what happens as we get this new world of hyperconnectivity is that our expectations of how we interact with the world are changing. We're all used to using iPhones and iPads and very simple devices that have a stunningly simple design interface. We need to bring the same type of design thinking to the medical devices that we might be putting out into the marketplace today. And that can be a significant challenge, but it can also be a significant opportunity. We need to challenge ourselves in terms of the skills and capabilities that we have. If we're in a world in which medical knowledge is increasingly becoming obsolete overnight as new medical knowledge comes to the forefront, what are we doing to ensure in Perkin Elmer that we've got the capabilities for just-in-time knowledge, the ability to get the right knowledge at the right time for the right purpose, for the right situation? All of these changes are happening faster than you might think. I'm dealing with organizations around the world in pharmaceuticals and healthcare who are realizing that everything they know, every single assumption they've operated by, all of the business rules which have applied in the past might not apply in the future because truly we are in a world in which the future belongs to those who are fast. I will be covering these issues and many more at the May 16th Perkins Elmer event in Orlando. And I want you to be thinking about what do you need to do to align yourself to a faster future? How do you need to challenge yourself in terms of skills? How do you need to collaborate more as an organization to accelerate your R&D capabilities? How do you support this next generation of physician or consumer in a world in which their expectations are increasing at an absolutely furious pace? We're going to have a great discussion, a lot of fun in May 16th in Orlando. I will see you there.